I am Chris Otisi. I am running for international students representative. I am originally from Nigeria. I was born in uh, Abia, but I lived in the city of Lagos. And I also lived in Spain and Germany for a, a significant part of my life. And I moved to Canada in 2013. I graduated high school here from Fort Richmond Collegiate. I, in my faculty of arts, studying politics and general management as my minor. And I plan on going into criminology and then law school. Uh, I feel like me being an international student alone should be good enough, but it's never good enough. I understand how international students feel. I can relate to their perspective as well as mine. My agendas don't, um, my agendas aren't just for me, it's for everyone who I tend to represent. So I feel like I also, I also volunteer in my department. I, I got elected to be sitting on the council, department council for politics by my fellow students. And all those give me the experience and expertise to carry out my actions. What I would like to get done is my agenda is to help assimilation for all international students in an economic, social, and educational perspective. So I'm taking these three branches and putting them into one thing. Um, for economic-wise, I plan on extending uh, student holds for international students. Casinas, as for example, if I had a hold on my account, that stops me from registering for classes, stops me from looking at my grades. And I feel like other international students do experience things like that. So why not just have that extended so we can go through the process of registering for classes, seeing how far we've came in our grades and everything. Um, I also plan on re trying to reduce the uh, percent, percentage of added interest on late tuition fees for international students. Um, also, I'm trying to help international students assimilate to the Canadian culture and a social perspective by introducing the International Buddy Program. And this concept is just to pair um, international students with other international students who have been in Canada for a significant amount of time and who have gone through the same process like myself who understand some certain things and is just helping and giving a hand to those who need it. Education wise I try I'm trying to implement a program which is the academic integrity program for international students. So this this lets international students know what the school expects of them, what the school expects them to do and not do so they don't get caught up in the mistake that might be a significant one. So those are my agendas, and I plan on working with all international students to represent the interests of everyone in the U of M. I see OMSU's role to be that of representing every student at the University of Manitoba. For example, I can tie in the recent strike that we had. I like the role that OMSU played in adhering to the students and not partaking in the strike itself. I feel like the, it's the responsibility to see what the students need, to see any questions or to try and facilitate our whole education as a, as a whole. Yeah. I, think, I think they're focusing on a lot right now, but there's always uh, room for improvement. Uh, mental mental health awareness is uh, is something that needs to be focused on more. I know it's being focused on, but it could do better. Everything could do better. Um, uh, creating a stronger international community for international students, that is something that needs, to, that needs to happen so we can see a stronger community where diverse students from different backgrounds come together, 
mingle, mix with each other, and get to know our society. And it also pertains to our, princi our principle of diversity, which is entrenched in our constitution. So I feel like that's something that needs to be looked on and implemented.